Welcome back. Video number two, 20K car challenge. So, I was gonna do another one of my cars. We have a few to do, but while I was getting the drive shaft rebuilt on the hot rod there, I came across two other cars that were for sale and I was pretty impressed with the price. Uh, I felt like they're pretty good deals for both of these cars. And while I've got too many projects of my own, I figured I'd share these with you guys. That way, not only can you see what's out there for sale, but if you uh, are interested, we can maybe figure out a way to get them to you. Just uh, reach out to me in the comments or the messages and let me know. All right, let's look at the first one. I'm gonna have to apologize. For the noise, we are next to a very busy road next to the ports in Savannah, Georgia. Barracuda Fastback looks to have tinted glass looks to have reupholstered interior the console is there Formula S um, actually it's got the formula it looks like a Formula S I don't know how to open the hood there we go so I see a new brake booster 273 Holly car looks like a 4150 this is a factory air car it's got the vehicle card in it which is pretty freaking cool this would be a really cool car 6500 buys this car Barracuda Formula S Looks like you're gonna need a windshield. Let's see if I can get in this thing. Full pages. Like I said, all new interior, freshly upholstered. Looks like it's got uh, all new brake parts that come with it she looks really solid I don't see any rust in this car at all well, again 6500 buys this car the way it sits supposedly it runs and drives Try to get you guys a good representation of the whole car. All right, let's move on to the next hot rod. So she's got the front stone guard. Grills are there. Front pan looks better than the one I got. Sheet metal looks pretty good. Glass ought to clean up. She's a vinyl top car. Let's see. Oh, I just got the upgraded interior. You can see the chrome bars here. She's gonna need floor pans. Rear step wells. Keys are in it. Auto on the column, so she was a bench seat, no console. tail panels here see a lot of the trim a lot of this a lot of this burnt orange stuff is hard to come by so it looks like burnt orange interior like I said we'll decode that VIN roll down back windows are solid well, it looks like the trunk pan has already been replaced good hinges and tail lights little patch in the wheelhouse there oh it's had quarter panels so it's already had quarter panels and trunk floor 
chunk lid is off of the green one. Custom, I like it. Eight and three quarter rear end. Twelve of sixty nine. The fender tag is a little crusty. I didn't clean it off too much, but real quick, um, the numbers match from the tag to the dash to the door to the trunk. Uh, unfortunately, you get no motor, no transmission with this car. It does, however, come with all the floor pans. Uh, but as far as the trim tag goes, real quick, uh, it's a 383 automatic. It's a real Super B built on December 10th uh, in St. Louis. And if you'll notice, it's a Y16 sales bank car which is kind of cool, meaning Dodge built this car early in the year so there would be cars to sell later in case nobody ordered them. Uh, so big hits are FK5, burnt orange metallic, H51 air conditioning. It's got the upgraded burnt orange interior, tinted glass, uh, and a 26 inch radiator. Should have had a white transfer stripe and a white vinyl top with chrome trim. Would have been a pretty good looking car. Again, if you're interested in any of these cars, just reach out to us and let us know. Thanks, guys.